Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to restore virtual machine from recovery service vault on Azure. So in last few videos we, we have created one virtual machine on Azure and we have created recovery service vault and and also we have enabled the backup for that uh, virtual machine in our recovery service vault. So I am going to give us a, the short brief about that what we have done in last videos. So if you go to all the source you can see in last video I have created this recovery service vault where I have enabled the backup for this virtual machine so if I go here and show you this recovery vault having one uh, item backup so if I click on it you can see it's backing up the virtual machine as we have Azure virtual machine backup backup item account one so if I click on it you can see it's taking the backup of Azure zero one, and the last backup status was successfully. So we can go and see what is backing up. And if you go to here in the backup item, you can exec uh, exactly see what's going on. And if I click on jobs and backup jobs here you can see all the backup jobs which is completed successfully and if anything any backup job is failed so uh, I have a backup uh, like uh, the one two and three successful backup for this Azure zero one so if I if we are going to lose this virtual machine we can we can uh, recover it so what I'm going to give you in this demo I'm going to delete this virtual machine manually and will show you how you can restore this virtual machine from recovery service wall so I'm click I'm going to click on um, virtual machine here and then I'm going to select this virtual machine and I'm going to stop and delegate also you can directly click here and you can type yes I want to delete and you can see deleting the selected virtual machine we permanently delete the uh, virtual machine and their related resource so I'm fine with that so I'm going to click on yes so now you can see it's executing the delete command for one item so it's going to take some time once the machine is deleted we are not be able to see this virtual machine anymore here so I'm going to click on all resource and going to wait for this when the virtual machine it's going to delete we are going to see uh, the command completed successfully so just wait for it so you can see command is executed successfully the virtual machine has been deleted and we don't have any more the virtual machine here so if I refresh it you can see we have lost the virtual machine and I'm going to delete it's all like hard drive and network interface and public interface which is related with this Azure Zero One. so I'm going to select here all the items which I need to delete which is um, belongs to Azure Zero One to just clean up my subscription here so nothing is left which is related with the Azure Zero One and then we are going to fully recover this virtual machine so basically if you delete if, if you accidentally or you have deleted all the items like NIC, interface, disk, everything from related virtual machine if you have a backup in your recovery service vault you can go anytime and you can recover your virtual complete virtual machine so let's wait for this to complete and then we can start the restore for this virtual machine so now you can see executed deleted command for selected four and all are succeeded so we are good to go and now you can see we don't have anything related with the Azure Zero One virtual machine so now it's time to start the restore for this virtual machine so I'm going to click on my re recovery service vault and you can see here under the backup item we have one I'm going to select my Azure virtual machine and it's going to show all, if you have more than one virtual machine it's going to give you all the virtual machine list here which we can recover from the recovery service vault so it's going to take some time just wait for wait so here we go you, you can see the virtual machine name the resource group and the backup 
pre-check pass last backup status successful and let's restore point we have of uh, like today and around 7 p.m. so we, I'm good with that and I can go ahead and restore so I have two option here you can see the stop backup and restore backup now file recovery all the options so I can go with the restore so you can see we have application consistency backup and file system consistency so all the list available here which we have the latest backup so I'm going to restore this virtual machine and I'm going to select the latest one file system consistence and I'm going to click on it so now it's going to check to create an alternate VM configuration when restore your virtual machine the following menu use the PowerShell command so we have this uh, menu to restore the virtual machine so what I'm going to restore restore desk only or you want to restore virtual machine so I want to restore my full virtual machine so I'm going to call it like Azure Azure 01 restore you can call it and here you can see we have a resource group we have a virtual network and we have a subnet which is uh, added with this virtual network and we have a staging location our uh, our so storage account so everything looks good if I click OK you can see we have now restore button if I go and click on restore button it's going to trigger the restore um, process so you can see triggering the restore for Azure Zero One so good to know that and now we can go ahead and close everything here if I go now in jobs you can see the restore job is started and you can see here restore job is started and it's transferring the data from a vault to this uh, storage account then once we have a data on a storage account it's going to create the re create the restore virtual machine so here you can see trigger trigger restore from it as the zero one is completed successfully. So all good. And now I can go ahead and refresh this screen. And you can see last time I have restored this virtual machine it has taken around 30 minutes. So definitely it's going to take some time to restore the, your virtual machine. So I am going to pause the recording for now. Once the machine is restored, I'm going to take you to the virtual machine login and I will show you how we can see the virtual machine has been completely restored so I'm pausing the recording for now so now you can see it's completed and I can go ahead and close this and if I refresh this you can see the status what is the current so restore is completed it's taken about 30 minutes 44 three seconds so you can see my last restore is also taking the same time so how how a credit Microsoft recovery service world work so good to know that and now if I go here on all resources and refresh this you will see the virtual machine and it's just your said hard drive and the NIC and the public IP so all good now I'm going to connect this virtual machine and see if my all data is there or not so I'm going to connect this virtual machine so I'm going to put my password so nothing going to change the virtual machine and everything so you can see it's the virtual machine uh, inside the host name is still Azure 01 but the virtual machine on Azure it's Azure hyphen 01 uh, Azure zero one hyphen restore. So good to know that the machine has been restored from, like renamed on the um, Azure portal only. It's not going to change anything inside the virtual machine. So here is my virtual machine. So it's loading the server manager now. So I got all the all the roles which I have installed and let's verify the server drives and data. So on that virtual machine I have two drive basically one is C and one is D. So if I browse C drive you can see uh, all the my data and in E drive I have one file 
which you can see I have recovered successfully so everything looks good and I have my data folder also so everything looks good here so so this is how we can restore a virtual machine from recovery service wall so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye